Storms, and we'll talk more about that through the weekend coming up in a couple minutes. We'll, we'll see you shortly. Thank you, Dennis. The South Tampa family is calling on city leaders to address safety concerns after they say their dog was hit and killed by a driver going well over the speed limit. They say what used to work a decade ago is really no longer safe for the number of families who live throughout South Tampa. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vazquez explains what neighbors want to see done. It's a tragic accident and it can happen to anyone. Stephanie Colossi and her family are mourning the loss of their dog, who she says was hit and killed by a speeding driver. And our dog, when he escaped, he approached the road and the driver was coming very fast and he struck our dog. Her son's dog dying is what stopped Colossi in her tracks. Over the past 11 years, she says she's watched South Tampa boom, but growing along with the population, are her concerns for safety. The speeding and the, the issues with not really having a stop sign or a speed limit posted or there's not a lot of sidewalks in our neighborhood too. Colossi submitted this tip to the Tampa Police Department reporting a high number of speeding in her residential neighborhood where children live, ride their bikes and walk their dogs. She's calling on city leaders to reevaluate the developing area to determine whether more signage is needed and if the 25 mile an hour speed limit on her narrow road is safe. I would like to see some accountability taken for ensuring that this neighborhood is a safe place for people to, to walk. You know, we have a school two blocks up the road, school's about to start. Um, we're concerned about the safety of the children in our neighborhood. We took these concerns to city leaders, asking if they plan to investigate Southwest Shore neighborhoods, along with Colossi's concerns and what they think should be done to ensure people feel safe. In a statement, they wrote, quote, a safety review of this location, West Shore from Commerce to South of Tarpon, showed only three crashes in the last five years, none of which resulted in personal injury. The city will continue to monitor the location. It's really important to me not just because of the passing of our our dog, but because it's a safety issue for our neighborhood. In South Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.